It's Jordan. Today we'll be talking about your thoughts are powerful. Know that your thoughts are powerful. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You can do anything if you believe that you can do it. If you start off life thinking that you can't do anything, you will not be able to do anything. If you put yourself first, put grind first, put your purpose and your passion first, and understand that you can do anything that you put your mind to, you will accomplish it. Yes, there is going to be things that stop you on your journey, pitfalls that stop you, people that stop you, but understand that if your mind is strong enough, you can overcome these things. Sometimes we want people around, people will not be around for our journey. You know, sometimes you want a relationship and you want this relationship with that person to fuel you, to help you, to show you the way. It's not going to work. Your mind has to be so powerful that even when people aren't around to help you, you can still get the job done on your own. You know, sometimes people get into relationships and they want that person to carry the burden and the load of that individual and just want that person to be the motivator, the encourager. It doesn't always work like that in relationships. You know, sometimes you're in a relationship, you get your heart broken in that relationship. How are you going to get up from that? If you don't put your thoughts forward and you don't put yourself forward, you're not going to get through these pitfalls in these situations. Sometimes you could be doing your job, so good at the job, and you get fired from that job. What are you going to do? Are you going to apply yourself more to get better positions? Or are you going to feel as though you can't do anything and just give up? We always got to keep going forward. We always got to keep moving forward. Yes, these things will bring, bring detriments to our lives, but how we get through that detriment is more important. We don't go through life having everything given to us. You know, you may have people around, family around that don't have anything, but you are the person to make a way for your people and your family. How are you going to do that with a negative thought process? If you have a positive thought process, any situation you go through, you can get through that situation. There are millionaires now, billionaires now that started off in a old car, car that barely could drive a lot of miles. You know, these are the things that you understand that everyone doesn't start from the top. That old car got them to places, helped them when they had no home, no shelter. And you know, it's hard to think that people can be homeless and get out of their situation, but there's people who do it with the right mind frame. It just takes one opportunity to change your life, to change your situation. But if you think that there's never going to be opportunity, there's never going to be an opportunity for you. If you think there's never going to be anyone that likes you out there that wants to be with you, you're never going to get that opportunity. So change your mindset, change your frequency. Sometimes you want the world and you want everything in it, but you're not meant to have everything. Just because someone else has something that you don't have doesn't mean that you got to walk around being upset. You're unique to yourself. You may have talents, you may have a thought process that others may not have. Use that to your advantage. And it's easier to say it, but it's true. Not everyone thinks the same, not everyone has the same beliefs, not everyone goes through the same thing. So your situation that you go through is unique to you. It's a blessing to you. Sometimes you may be going through something and someone may be going through far worse. At least if they're going through something far worse, they can know that at the end of the tunnel, they can make it through. You know that at the end of the tunnel, you can make it through. You know, sometimes we sit and wish we had this. We wish we had a mansion. We wish we had a bigger house. We wish we had better cars. We wish we had all of these things that are not even important until you actually have it. And then you realize that it's not important. That's why you see a lot of rich people, they're bored with their life. 
they have everything. So they go and do different things to get their mind away from things that they already have. It sounds crazy, but people get bored when they conquer everything. They get bored. People get bored, man. But what I want you to understand is your thoughts are powerful. If you feel like you can walk in that room and speak effectively, do it. If you feel that you could sign up for that program that you've been wanting to sign up for, do it. It doesn't hurt. But why don't you want to do it? Is it because the people around you may not believe in what you want to do? Is it because you're scared it may not work out? Just because something doesn't work out now doesn't mean that five to ten years down the line that it will work out for you. Doesn't mean that even if you're in that situation right now, your situation will not will change five to ten years from now. These are the things we have to understand for our growth, for us to understand ourselves. You can't be walking around with a negative attitude and expecting people to embrace the negative attitude. Sometimes we say it's people that, that get us into certain positions and certain places, and it's people why we're in a negative mind state. Well, maybe you're just in a negative mind state because of your life. Maybe people want to embrace you. Maybe people want to be around you. Maybe people want to help you. But since your past situations occurred, when people are trying to help you, you don't want to be around those people because you think you'll get the same result. Maybe it's just you sometimes. Let's take the focus off of people. Maybe it's just you. Maybe your past experience, maybe your past situation that you've been through, you don't want to go through that situation again, so you close yourself off from new people. That relationship you're in, you close, you're closed off from your partner due to the other relationships that you've been in that didn't work out. That job you're in right now. You're closed off from people on the job because of the previous jobs you worked at that wasn't positive experiences. These are the things that we also got to look into and not also blame others for our success and our failures. If you want to go out somewhere and you're scared to go out somewhere based upon you not having anybody with you, go out by yourself. Not everyone's going to be around you all the time to hold your hand. You got to do it yourself. You got to pull your own weight. If your time management is terrible, getting to places, getting to events, getting to things, hosting things, that's on you. But these are your thoughts that you think and you got to work on if you want to get far and you want to get better and you want to improve. If you're inviting people somewhere and you're late to where you're inviting that person to. These people are not going to respect you because you don't respect their time. Respect time. Oftentimes you want to put the blame on others. You know, if you're at the job, you're not holding your weight. You're not helping others. You're not being a team player. And then you lose your job. Don't blame the job. Don't blame the people on the job. Understand what you did wrong and what you can work on and improve. You're never too good to improve. Daily. Look at the things that you can improve on. And I promise you, it can help your mindset to be in a positive place. You don't want to make new friends due to your old friends not treating you properly. So you're scared to go out there and make new friends because the new friends that you do make, they may treat you the same way as your old friends. That's your thought process. You may be going into something great. I'm not saying just go out there and meet various people that you don't know. Obviously, vet people, constantly vet people, but... Just go out and do these things that are different for your life, that help your life, help your mindset. If you are advising somebody else and you're providing them advice, tell them what you've been through so you're relatable to them. Nobody's going to listen to what you have to say if they think your life is all guts and glory. 
people think your life is all glory, they're not going to listen. They're just going to give excuses and say, oh, well, your life didn't turn out like that. So you can't advise me on anything. Be relatable. Be a person that can relate to everybody. Especially if you're giving somebody advice. People like to know that they have a sense of comfort talking to you with similar areas. If they don't have similar areas, you can't advise that person. Just know that your thoughts are powerful. What you think from a day-to-day -day basis escapes your belief, how you maneuver in this world, how you go on with your business. If your thoughts are negative all the time, you're not gonna move forward in this life on a positive plane. So change your mindset, change your thinking, change how you view people, change how you view yourself. And I'm telling you, your life will change for the better. I wanna thank you guys for watching today. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Think about what I'm talking about, change your thoughts, because your thoughts are powerful. Peace.